Hi guys, my name is Jefferson Costa. I'm a chemical process engineer and be welcome to chemical process engineering web series A Day in the Life. Today I'm talking about a little bit documents. The documents that chemical process engineers should know and which kind of, pro uh, of documents we do in a uh, process design. Once we get access to an uh, industrial plant, uh, it's time to know the company procedures. So you need to, to know how is the symbols for, for using the pen IDs, what kind of tags and how to number the documents. And it, it's not time to think about who, in, in process engineering itself, you will not do calculations or solve problems at the first time that you start your, your, your job, your new job. Normally not. Uh, in the first week, or at least in the first day, it's time to, to be familiar with the company's culture so you need to know how to to have access to to the internet and the T ti guy will give you a email webmail address and something like that and it's a time to very important because the company standards standards is the is the basis for everything that you do so we after or later when you will do a, a process uh, memorandum you you should know how how template which template you need to 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 have and if you you are doing a PNID, you need to know how to, to give a, a number or a name for a, a pipeline, how to identify a valve, how, how to identify a automatic valve, and so on. So don't be rushed, don't rush yourself, don't be anxious to, to solve uh, any kind of problem. First of everything, just try to understand how the company works and how you need to, to develop your documents. And after that, once you are familiar with all the procedures, it's time to really think about the, the problems that you, you should solve. In my case, I am in a hotel because I'm doing a project far away from, from the office. And after I get access to the plant, uh, to the industrial plant, we were, uh, I had permission to, to get inside the, the industrial plant. And we first had a meeting with the customer where we talked uh, about the scope of the work. So we, the team, the, the project design team and the customer team talking about uh, what should be done, what not should be done, and what, which kind of documents we need to handle and how, the, how we can find the procedures, how to, with whom we should talk about to have the documentation that we need to, to do our work. And it was about all the, the, the day. And so it was not time to start doing my, the job I was, was asked to do itself. It was time to be familiar with the industry, with the customers, standards standards in order to do my job later so for now it's it's these tips i would like to share with you and
tomorrow is Saturday. It's day off here, and but I but I I will bring another video to you about my uh, day in the life, and I hope you are liking this series. Um, share with your your friends and subscribe to the channel, and I have much more tips and uh, engineering chemical engineering tips in the real life for you okay so see you soon and have a nice day bye bye